Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is the Dizzy Viper and welcome to this short tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create or how you can use the Octane Scatter as a radial cloner. So I'm doing this tutorial because um, I had a couple of issues actually finding a good way to clone a lot of objects, a lot of high poly objects uh, radially because using the Cinema 4D cloner actually made Cinema 4D and Octane crash all the time, so I had to use the Octane Scatter somehow. And as you may know, the Octane Scatter doesn't really work like a cloner. Um, so I had to do a little bit of thinking and I actually got it to a solution that I would like to show you now. So the first thing you need to have to clone something radially, obviously you have to have a surface you want to scatter your objects on. And I'm gonna use a disk for that. Now what you're gonna say probably is, if you're gonna change the display to the constraint really quick, you can see that there are, wait, let me just set disk segments to one, that there is still one point in the middle. And I have tried getting rid of that, but uh, for some reason that made my uh, octane crash also. Um, I don't know exactly why, but uh, my solution for that was basically I just uh, click that point and drag it like way down, so you don't see it anymore. Um, and if you guys know how to prevent uh, Octane from crashing when deleting this point, just let me know. So next you're gonna create an Octane scatter and we're gonna use a scattering object as well. And I will just be using a simple cube as my scattering object. And what I will be doing though, I will um, make it editable and paint this side of the cube red just to show the actual direction. So like this and apply that so we ha have a red face so now we can always see which is the right side right okay so let's put the cube inside our octane scatter and put our disk inside the surface tab of our octane scatter make sure to leave this distribution on vertex maybe let's make the cube a little smaller otherwise it won't work like this yeah i'm gonna just quickly open octane so we actually can see what the octane scatter does Okay, so as you can see, we obviously have to make this cone invisible for the camera, like that. So we only have our cubes. Maybe let's make the cubes even smaller, like that. Okay, so what will happen actually is, since our disk is pointing, like since the faces of our disk are painting downwards like this, um, our cubes are gonna point downwards like that as well, as you can see right here. They're slightly twisted down here. That's not what we want. So what we're gonna do, is, uh, wait, let me just make that invisible again. We're gonna uh, set this normal align to zero. And you see what that does is actually, it it doesn't rotate our clones anymore. So now what you could actually do is you could just set the normal align to 0 0.01, which would essentially uh, make them almost straight, almost. But if you really want to make them 100% straight with absolutely zero angle, um, here's how you do it. So you're gonna go into your rotate tab in your Octane Scatter, set the value to minus 360 degrees, and in your shader tab, select a gradient, and use a, wait, and use a uh, radial 2D gradient, and in your gradient properties, set the interpolation to linear. And as you can see what that does, it actually offsets our, uh, like each cube, uh, by a certain angle, and th these angles are um, determined by this gradient. So black is zero degrees and white is minus 360 degrees. And that is actually offset by the amount of our circle. So that way you can achieve a better and more controlled um, radial cloning inside your octane scatter. I know it's a, a really niche kind of tutorial um, and I don't know if you will ever really need it. Uh, but I did last night when I when I actually worked on that client project and maybe it could help, it helped, I don't know. Uh, I hope it does and if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and yeah, have a nice day.